Hi everyone, um, this is my first video, so bear with me. Um, so let's get straight to it. Um, I want to reach out to people who are going through a rough time. Maybe you're stuck at a dead end job, struggling financially, don't know what to do in your life. I want to tell you that you're not alone. I have been through that too, and I want to help you get out of it. Um, if you're not happy with your life, you can change it. No matter how hard or scary it may seem, it can be done, I assure you. But the question is, why would you listen to me? So let me give you a little highlight about my rough time, as you will. Um, I'm an ambitious person. Uh, I'm also an introvert. Uh, I wanted to do great in my life. I still want to do great in my life. Um, so in 2007, I moved to a totally different country as a student. And this was 14 years ago. Um, I started my diploma, um, my parents were paying for my tuition, I was driving a brand new car, I was living alone, um, I got myself a part-time job, started making and spending money left and right, um, and after finishing my two years diploma, I enrolled myself uh, for a degree in mechanical engineering. Everything was going great, until it wasn't. Um, four years later, halfway through my degree, I decided I would love to live here. So I decided, so I started taking the necessary steps to permanently staying in the country. Um, due to some immigration problems, I had to quit my course three years in. I only had one year left and I, I was basically forced to uh, give up. So my supervisor of five years, um, in my part-time job had an immigration lawyer they said they'll help me stay in this country and basically scammed me of twenty thousand dollars by the way those twenty thousand dollars that I paid them with was supposed to be my tuition fees and one day I just went to work and I found out he had quit he wouldn't answer my calls his friend wouldn't answer my calls and um, after that, 30 days later, I think, um, I got a letter from the immigration that I have to leave the country within 28 days. So at that, in those 28 days, my current position, my position was, um, I had no money left. Um, I'm stuck at a minimum wage dead end job with no skills or qualifications. I'm not sure if I'll be able to live in this country anymore. So if I have to go back, I'll be going without any skills or qualifications. Um, right, I'm about to be, I'm about to be kicked out of the country. Um, I became a heavy smoker in that time. Um, I was literally living on pizza and McDonald's for dinner. The whole day I wouldn't eat. Evening, I would, after finishing my work, I will get a pizza. And then two o'clock at night, I will go have a McDonald's meal. Right. And I was really bad with money. Um, I had collected a credit card debt. Um, some of the debt I couldn't pay, so the debt collectors were calling me every day, basically harassing me. Right. Uh, mind you, no one in my family knew about this at this point. Right. No one knew. So I was going through all that stress alone. There, there was no way I could tell anyone because I was turning into the black sheep of my family. My sister, uh, my siblings, um, they were quite successful in their businesses. My dad was quite successful in his business. And as it turns out, I was becoming useless, worthless. There was a lot of pressure. Um, so let's fast forward a bit. Um, obviously, I was able to stay in the country. But uh, now I am stuck at this job thinking I have no future. And I'm thinking, well, changing jobs it's still the same you know i have no skills what, what kind of job will i get um i have no qualifications i can't get a good job and um years passed before i was able to become a permanent resident right um and 11 years in this country i finally became a citizen in 2018 but in those 11 years I have turned 31 years old. Um, I am seeing no future whatsoever. I am depressed. I have no qualifications again, no skills. I ended up with bad credit. I'm still earning minimum wage. And I had this 
I started this company as an early stage startup that failed miserably. Right. Oh yeah, um, my car was sold. Um, the only thing I loved doing, my favorite hobby, my favorite pastime was driving. I used to drive a lot. I loved driving with my friends alone. Um, yeah, I loved driving. I would take long, long drives. And yeah, since my car was sold, I wasn't driving anymore. And because my car was sold and I had to save money to pay all that debt, I was walking up to 12 kilometers a day to and fro work because I needed to save money. No matter how hot it got, how cold it got, I was walking. And to avoid all these problems, I got into another bad habit of watching TV. So I wasn't trying to upskill myself. I just wanted to forget about all my problems, um, about work, about everything. Uh, and to do that, I was watching TV. I was watching so much TV, I can't even tell you. Um, like on my days off, I would be watching TV for like 12 hours, you know. Um, I was doing nothing else. I was just eating, watching TV on my days off. That's what I was doing. And I mean, that last one year of my rough time was full of depression. I developed anxiety. I started having panic attacks. I didn't know what to do how I mean how do I improve my life what should I do to get better I never thought I'd be here in this position I can't talk to anyone I feel like such a disappointment I feel like such a failure in my life um, I don't know what to do I really don't know what to do so I started watching these motivational videos maybe they'll help me you know um, they would they would pump me up, but uh, that wouldn't last long. I mean, they would pump me up. Okay, I'll, I'll decide. I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do something, but I don't know what to do. And then you know, the whole cycle will start again, where you know I would realize, wait, I still have no money. I can't do this. I can't do that. And well, I'm back in the problem. So that motivation video sort of didn't work, to be honest. Um, and you know, I would sometimes I would go f fall asleep while listening to these motivational videos, and um, you know what? Starting to I would think to myself, you know what? Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna do something about it. I'm gonna feel more energetic. I'm not gonna stay depressed. I'm gonna take action. Next morning, I would wake up. I'll be depressed. You know, so I needed to understand what was going on, um, and. I mean, I agree. It was my, there were my stupid decisions that had gotten me uh, into this part of my life. But the question was, how do I get out of it? I mean, everyone makes mistakes. So all these questions, you know, how can I get off, out of this miserable cycle that I'm stuck in? How can I make my life better? If when I decide I want to make my life better, I get scared or I start procrastinating, you know? Um, why, if I hate my job so much, why am I not quitting my job? Why am I not trying to get a better one? If I can't get a better one, why don't I learn a skill? What am I scared of? Um, all these questions I had in my mind I wanted answers to. Maybe you have the same questions. Maybe you have different type of questions, but you know, the base is all the same. If you're going through a rough time, you know, why? Why is this happening? You know, how can I get better? What do I do? Um, so, but one good decision I take, that I took, um, uh, that was back in the December of 2018, I decided I'm going to start reading, you know, to help me understand better. I thought I'm going to start reading. Um, and I still remember I got my first book. I went to Kmart, I got my first book. Um, it was a novel and that was the point I started reading. And then I thought, you know what? I'm reading a novel, I'll also start reading about how your body works, about your brain works, maybe that will help me understand um, the problems I'm facing, you know, um, maybe help me organize myself. So I didn't know it at that point, but that was one of the best decisions I took in my life. Um, um, from then onwards, I my goal was to read one book a week 
at least, you know. But there would be times I couldn't do it. I would take two weeks to read a book. Sometimes a book would be boring. It would take me three weeks to finish that book, you know. Um, so, but the point was, by reading the books, I wanted to understand the reasons behind all the problems I'm facing, you know. Maybe it will help me uh, move along it. Maybe it'll give me a way to move past it, you know. And um, as it turns out, that's exactly what happened. So um, three years have passed since I started reading and uh, I started learning all the problems I'm facing, uh, what can I do to solve them, why am I facing, what challenges I will face in the future, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so in, my, in 2020, uh, my workplace shut down and I couldn't, I still couldn't quit, but in 2020 it shut down and I was let go, all the stuff, I was let go. But um, as it turns out, again, it happened automatically, but it was a good thing um, because just before my place started shutting down, I started investing so, uh, small um, amounts of money, very small. I'm, I'm talking $100, $200 kind of stuff. You know? um, again, another good decision. But um, in early 2021, I was completely debt free. I had no debt. Um, 2019, I started meditating. I've been doing it ever since, every day. Um, my only anxiety and panic episodes after that were due to nicotine withdrawal. I haven't, I mean, it's been a long while since I had my last panic attack or any sort of anxiety. Oh yeah, um, I was able to quit smoking. I went to cold turkey, never touched it. Uh, again, after that day, I decided to quit and it's been now about uh, one and a half years. Um, 2000, early 2019, January, I think, um, just a month after I started reading, I took another good decision of getting healthier. 2019, January, I remember, I started cooking my own meals and um, started eating healthy. You know, I'll still have junk here and there, but I'll keep it to once a week or once every two weeks, but that's it. Um, again, and then in, once I started eating healthy, I started exercising as well. Because when I started eating healthy, I felt like maybe I should work out as well. So I started, um, I made it tough for myself in the beginning. Uh, the reasons why I did that will be explained in the next few videos. But um, um, I started waking up four o'clock in the morning, organized myself the things I had to do and then uh, did my workout. All right. um, it wasn't a smooth ride from there. Um, I had to stop sometimes because I started working out, I started feeling dizzy, but turns out I had, you know, I wasn't eating enough or I wasn't eating healthy or smoking was, uh, uh, you know, sort of giving me dizziness when I was working out. I, was, I wasn't smoking while working out, but because I was a smoker, I was making me feel dizzy while working out. So, um, yeah, I was smoking for over uh, 13 years when I quit. So yeah, I started a bit earlier, 17, 18, I think. yeah. So, um, yeah, um, and I have gotten excellent with money. I don't waste money anymore. In the, uh, I sort of started investing that money. Um, I'm, stop, I'm not a millionaire, but you know, I'm not very rich right now, but I have started investing. I've gotten a bit of money. I have uh, my credit report, my credit score has gone up. You know, um, it's in uh, a very good range now. Uh, it used to be poor. And then I'm learning new skills like playing guitar. I'm learning how to code. Uh, I'm learning a, a Swift uh, programming language. Um, like an iOS developer. Um, I'm learning about investing as well. I am building multiple revenue streams and I'm doing what I do want to do in my life. And trust me, if I can do it, so can anyone. Um, I assure you, anyone can do it. And I'm going to explain it to you why. You know? um, everyone can change and everyone can learn a new skill. Um, 
how am I so sure? You know, uh, so all the books I read, you know, about the brain by famous uh, scientists and you know um, brain surgeons, and uh, I've read quite a lot. So what I learned was um, all the experiences in your life, um, from single coin stations to a broader culture, shape the microscopic details of your brain. Uh, neurally speaking, who you are depends on where you've been. Um, your brain is a shape shifter and it's constantly changing, constantly rewriting itself uh, because your experiences are unique and so are the vast detailed patterns in your neural networks uh, because they continue to change who you are your identity um, is a moving target if you can say that right uh, let me put it again because you continue to change you make decisions constantly so you're always changing anyway there's no end point you'll always change right let me give you an example um, there was a study done on london cab drivers the London cab drivers learn the city's uh, geography by rote. Sounds like an extremely difficult task. I mean, you need to have the knowledge about um, how there's 320 different routes through the city, um, 25,000 individual streets. You're talking 20,000 landmarks and points of interest like hotels, theaters, restaurants, embassies, you know, um, anywhere a passenger is likely to want to go. And the students usually spend three to four hours a day um, learning these theoretical journeys. And this cab driver study demonstrates that the adult brain are not fixed in place, but instead can reconfigure so much that the change is visible to the trained eye. Um, they found out that the longer the cabbie has been doing its job, the bigger the change in the brain. Um, another example is a smoker's brain. When you smoke, you become nicotine dependent. So, the more you smoke, the more nicotine dependent your brain becomes. And the more nicotine dependent your brain becomes, the more you want to smoke. You know, it's like a vicious circle. So, but once you quit, your brain can also return back to normal between three to six months and you can see the change they have scans to prove that uh, the receptors in the brain the nicotine receptors start fading away you know so the two examples i just told you about they they clearly show your brain can change all you have to do is make a decision and start doing it you know um, you just have to make that decision so what you understand from this video is, and once I understood this fact, that you know a brain can change, I knew I have the capab capability of changing. Everyone does, and if you keep trying it, um, you can change your future too. And I am an example of that. Um, all the bad decisions I took in my past define my today, but all the things I do today will make my future. So all the bad decisions I took in the past will not define my future. The decisions I take today, that will define my future. So if you want to change your future, don't let your past stop you because your past only shaped your present. It's your present that will shape your future. Not your past, but your present. Right? Um, I think that's all for this video, guys. I hope this video will help you. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel for more content and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post my next video where I talk about how you make the decisions. Um, trust me, it will help you greatly. Thanks. See you guys.